From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. The brainchild and dream of former statesman Nelson Mandela, who encouraged society's involvement in the nurturing and safeguarding of children, the Nelson Mandela Children's Hospital will soon be launched. Megan van Vanguard tells us more. The One Billion Rand project in Parktown, Johannesburg, has a number of centres of excellence for paediatric care and boasts 200 beds and 10 theatres. Nelson Mandela Children's Hospital interim CEO Joe Serulane gave a little insight. Uh, this has been a long journey, uh, but, uh, you know, like Madiba said, long uh, way to freedom. This has been a long way to realizing his legacy. Uh, it has taken us 10 years for us to be where we are, from the feasibility study to actually the design, the construction, and now the opening. It has been a project that has been funded through donor funding, both local and international, and we just want to thank all our donors and even the children. We had uh, four kids by kids, which was a fundraising that was done by kids uh, at the various schools uh, where they collected money. And we also had telethons where we asked the public. The project is a one billion rand uh, project. Uh, we had to make ourselves a target from the trustee's point of view to saying that uh, if not half has been raised, minimum, uh, we cannot be able to begin the construction. In June 2014, we started this construction. It took us 24 months, uh, on time, on budget, and uh, we now have a fully equipped, fully built hospital. However, Seo Lawane noted that there was room for improvement in future. We still have, obviously, uh, a gap of other things that we would like to have in the hospital. And um, right now we have been able to raise, and what you're seeing around here is the work of 800 million that is coming from generous uh, donors. Further, Seo Lawane said that the hospital was not only centered around children, but around their families too. At this hospital, we are trying to create a, an environment that will be friendly to the child, and only, not only to the child, but also to the parents or the caregiver. We want everyone here uh, to be able to feel that it is a healing place. We are going to be treating quite a lot of sick kids with uh, what we call tertiary and quaternary conditions, which just says advanced, conditions that they cannot be held in any other hospital but this hospital. Therefore, you don't want to uh, let the hospital look like a dingy place where actually it just worsens the mood. So what you see here, you would have seen the animations and uh, characters around this building is to just be able to create that environment where kids will be excited to come here, but they would not know that actually is to be able to also take care of them. So we'll make them feel comfortable and their parents and you'll see that upstairs we do have family accommodation for those who come from uh, far distance areas to be able to be close with their caregiver. We found that children do well in healing when they have the support structure around them. But I must be able to state up front that this is a referral hospital. It means no child will just be dropped by their doors but needs to be referred by uh, they are hospital or they are specialists who would then talk to our specialists to see that that child uh, needs to be here and that child would, would be catered for irrespective of their ability to pay or not pay. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.